can artists make money with their music? Give it away. Yeah. Build Give it demand. Away. Build demand. Give it away. It, you, they're gonna they're gonna listen to it for free anyways. Are you a moment artist or are you a career artist? The people who say this don't make music, that is a problem. DIY. DIYers, it pains me to do this video today because I think that the source of the content that I'm getting ready to react to actually has a lot of great content for artists of all kind, whether you're signed or independent. It involves some people who are reputable names themselves in this in that ecosystem of the music industry. The Cheat Code Podcast. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Classy Beats. He sent me this clip right before I went live. I had another story that I was going to get into, but this one, ooh, kind of grinded my damn gears. Sound like my grandfather saying that. Grinded my damn gears. I kid you not. Oh my gosh. There's a weird effort to continue this terrible, this terrible, terrible, terrible idea that art, specifically music, should not be paid for. Let me let them develop their argument and then let's address this. Can artists make money with their music? Give it away. Yeah. Build Give it demand. Away. Build demand. Give it away. It, they're gonna they're gonna listen to it for free anyways. Mm -hmm. Did you not see that after the Super Bowl just recently, when uh, Usher got off stage, Apple Music had their night. Maybe I heard that wrong. Let me, let me refresh it. You know, sometimes you be hearing shit. You feel me? Can artists make money with their music? Give it away. Yeah. Build Give it away. demand. Build demand. Give it away. It, they're gonna they're gonna listen to it for free anyways. Mm -hmm. Did you not see that after the Super Bowl just recently, when uh, Usher got off stage, Apple Music had their ninety three months for free. First of all, ain't nobody in here Usher except for Usher. Does that so, so using as an example is, is already kind of crazy. But real big on the screen, they're gonna give you away because that's the best way to retain business. If it's Correct. good, they're gonna keep you coming back. Gonna You're not gonna make no they money off of that ninety nine cent shirt, of the ninety nine cent song when you day. You're gonna make money off of the forty dollar hoodie. Make Correct. money off your twenty dollar performance. You're gonna make money Correct. off your ten dollar live stream or whatever it is. Correct. Correct. You're even going to make money. Dare I say, what if you gave enough music, enough quality music away, and then you got those people to sign up for a subscription? <gasps> a community? On oh, me. That means and I will. Ooh. Look, respect to these great minds. They talking to some of y'all niggas like you stupid. I listen to this and I say, this shit's this shit kind of condescending. This shit's kind of condescending. <gasps> Start a community. Like, I don't like that shit. Some artists be stupid. Some rappers do be stupid as hell. I know I've been stupid my damn self sometimes. But don't talk to me like I ain't never heard of a Patreon. You let me know when you drop music? That means you get music wow. nobody else gets. I'm going to get it first? You get it first. What a concept. Exclusive. What a concept. You got websites like Even Biz. I wanted, I wanted, it wasn't a little Russell and Hitboy that just hit yeah. for like seven M's. See, here's the thing about it, though. Music is not free on Even.biz. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to tell the truth, and I'm going to tell it. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. And I've had to see my, I have to check myself first because someone accused me of doing this and now I understand what the danger of it is. When you mix together something that sounds crazy as hell with something that you do have a good sort of perspective of, maybe in an even dot biz, you start to make sense of things that don't need to be made sense of. There is not an argument. This is nothing personal to them. This is just this whole idea that I think is the stupidest fucking idea on earth. The idea that the thing we invest all of this time into, all of this money into, all of this investments of equipment, better quality microphones, better compressors, better speakers, better monitors, better headphones. The idea that all of this that we've invested into to create this product that is hopefully the best representation of whatever style of music you do should be free sounds so stupid to me. Now, here's where I have to try to be as unbiased and understand it from their perspective. Are there some people who make music that this would make sense for? Yeah, I think so. You know what? I'm going to refer to this video right here, man. Shout out to Brian Z, man. Brian Z, you got to follow him on Twitter. Brian Zizuk. He said something in an interview that we had last year that I think still rings true. And who their example of giving away music for free may work better for. Let's clarify some things. Are you a moment artist? or are you a career artist? Mm. If you feel like you have 25, 30 plus years in this business, don't take any easy money because you're playing the long game. You can afford to be more patient. Your time horizon is in decades. If you're a moment artist, which means your focus is on riding a wave, trend or a fad based on a production style or a vibe and you feel like you can capitalize on that immediately mm -hmm. and you're not concerned about where you're going to be in two years let alone 10 or 20 mm -hmm. by all means jump in head first grab the bag 
make the money. Maybe you could take care of your family right. uh, for, for a generation, but you can't have yeah. both and you right. have to know which one you are. Can we just separate them? You know how like on The Sims, there's certain <laughs> characters that have certain colors on there. Can we just like identify like, hey, I'm one of those people. I'm not going to be here long. You guys and all your lyricism, that's all good. Have at it. I'm just here for the bag real quick and I'll get out the way. You know, you folks out there, I don't think there's anybody in this community right here, right? There ain't nobody in here. You folks that come here trying to hit a lick with hip hop, trying to hit a lick with this craft because it's the one that has the lowest bar of entry, because it doesn't require you to actually have a singing voice, right, to be able to rap to a certain degree, because the bar has been lowered by some of the most popular artists that are out there killing it right now, you should probably put your music out for free. Because that's a great business strategy for your least than superior product. You know what? We just talked about this right now before this video started in my chat. Someone came up with a saying, when that music ain't good, she for the streams. So that's how we'll address that. But don't talk to artists that have invested all of this time into building their reputation, evolving their craft. Because when you tell those kind of people that the music should be free, Without knowing it, you're sending certain messages to their brain about the importance of the music they make. Maybe that's why you have so many rappers that give up rapping the way that they did when they first came in. Because they're trying to figure out how do I make some scratch? How do I make some money? How do I get like mainstream notoriety? How do I get these looks over here? How do I get the how do I get on the big media platforms? Who I got a beef with? They do all of these antics that take them out of what they were meant to do on this earth with their craft. So much of that decision making is promoted by people who are saying the shit that you just heard in this podcast. Give your music away for free. You know what I think is really interesting? The people who say this don't make music. Fuck. Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell it. The people who say this don't make music. The people who say this shit have tech companies. The people who say this are A&Rs. The people who say this are execs. The people who say this have streaming platforms. The people who say this don't make music. That is a problem. So to pitch that shit to me, I think is a such an insult to this craft. Home movies. Home movies. Home movies. I wish I valued ownership before I valued fame. When I was 17 and I didn't own a thing. Wet behind the ears, it was not a sign of rain. I was blinded by the lights and hypnotized by the... They say the money make you change. Tell me who defined that? When it's just my bad habits under a magnifying glass. Spinning before I got it till I fell up on my ass. I got bad spinning habits. Tell me how I buy it back. I be spinning with emotions, trying to fill up a void. The little boy who couldn't buy it, wanna spend it with joy. Not understanding it's a business that you're likely destroy. I was a Toys of Us kid, but now we adults. You see, looking at these bills, I can't help but feel annoyed. House full of electronics, I can barely afford. Live below your means, stay about the scene. Focus on your seeds and trust you'll grow a tree. I know that's easier to say when you don't have shit. We always got a perfect plan when it go past us. So that money come around and do a backflip And we do the same routine like magic These are my bad habits These are my, these are my bad habits Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I really wanna change cause I swear that I'm sick and tired of living so average I'm gonna give you an example before I get into this last video. I got, I got this album that I just released, right? I'm, by the time this video's out, I just released it. It's called Home Movies. What I'm figuring out with direct-to-consumer, you gotta figure out creative ways outside the box to give people an experience they can't stream. Word to Nipsey Hussle. He said this years ago when he had the $100 album. So you know what my solution for that was? I said, I want to, in the theme of my project, which is obviously inspired by Blockbuster, I wanna create an experience that someone can't stream. I wanna show you what that looks like here. Fuck all of this music is free shit. No, your music is free, cause that shit is for the streams. Take a look at this real quick. I came up with this idea for the packaging of my product. It's pay what you want, $30 minimum, and it is a home movies VHS box bundle. Now, the theme came to me because my project is called Home Movies and it is inspired by a lot of nostalgia, a lot of thoughts that I have of nostalgia. That's part of my brand. What is inside the box though? Check this out. Inside of this box, you know what I've included? A discount card for those that buy it as a thank you. Kind of like the membership card that Blockbuster used to have. A flash drive that has every single song on my album and every music video on my album. All as one. Movie popcorn, because it's a movie experience. Movie candy, and also a CD. All inside of a VHS box with all of my branding over the top of it. This to me, ladies and gentlemen. D -D -D -I -Y. That's DIY. 
This is DIY. What do I have resources? What do I have access to to give somebody an experience that they can't stream? So I did this. I did this because I knew that this was important. I also want to go ahead and make sure this is backed by a little bit of science too. Shout out to this gentleman here, this neuroscientist called Jamal Williams. It's a subtle reminder of the power of music that for some reason, all of these corporate entities, companies, streaming websites, all these different platforms want you to believe your music is not worth anything, yet they've been able to create multi-billion dollar businesses with that product as the centerpiece. I was born during the day, not yesterday. Somebody's gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell it. Check this video out real quick. Jamal Williams, a neuroscientist at Princeton who studies the role that music plays in our memories. Here's what he's listening to as he tries to make a memory in the arc. I think that a lot of people don't really think about music as a tool for tagging moments of your life. Music, I think, can be used in very strategic ways that we usually don't think of. I'd never thought of music as a tool for staving off oblivion. Jamal's research was mostly over my head, but he raises a fascinating question. Can music help our memories? Hmm. You trying to tell me the nearest scientists Somebody gonna have to tell the truth and I'm gonna tell that are doing all of this work to see the many ways that music affects us on a neurological level, on a memory level, the same music that they're trying to convince me is free because there's a multitude of people who don't want to pay for it a multitude of people who want to steal it i'm sorry that's not enough for me to believe that my art is not worth anything it's so interesting how tone deaf some of this advice is you got to think about this most of you probably came into this to become a rapper to become a music producer singer you didn't come in here to be a merchandise expert you didn't come in here to run a touring business some of you have no aspirations of touring right yet and still because those have been the traditional ways that people have made money they want to convince you that it's not the music use it as an advertising piece and everything else around it should be profitable my question is this as it's already happening right now as you start to see live nation create even more of a monopoly as they're dealing with some legal issues around touring as you start to see some of these print on demand get a little bit more strict about who they allow to print on demand as you start to see these other avenues that people have made money outside of music dwindle as the economy goes the direction it's going what are you going to do now where's the money going to come from okay super community cool super community well in order to have a super community you must have some barriers of entry if anybody can get in there anybody who's ever ran a discord and you let everybody get in there tell me how long it took for that shit to go to hell tell me how long it took before people started acting a damn fool in there because everybody can get in there and there's no barrier of entry they want you to do the same thing with your music that at large they did to hip-hop they want you to allow every culture vulture, every person with a snubby, snappy ass opinion about music, get access to your music. No, they don't deserve your music. There's some people that are so mad at my Drake commentary that they want to come at my music and say, you're just mad because you don't sound like them. That's the point. <laughs> there can only be one Curtis King. I've worked so hard to become that Curtis King. I've worked so hard to become the best version of that. You think that I would sacrifice all these years away from my family, away from the things that I have outside of music to sound like somebody else? Some of y'all have lost your way. So here's how it's gonna stand, DIYers. DIY. We gonna call all this shit as it is. We gonna call it for the cap it is. That advice is solid advice for a certain type of person where their music is for the streams. For the DIYers out there who care about this kind of content, you care about this culture, that value your product and know that your product helps people from their day-to-day -day lives. Some of y'all are saving lives with the music that you're making. Some of y'all are giving rappers who don't have access to these industry producers. And you're selling beats, you're leasing beats to these people. You're giving them an opportunity to be heard with top quality production. That's free. Edison don't stop sending emails. Spectrum Cable don't stop sending them these bills. The car note's still coming through. Rent still do. I don't like this narrative because I once again feel like it's being pushed by people who don't make music. And when you don't make music, you're disconnected from the product. I have no desire to give this up to you. I'll kindly decline. I don't think they're used to artists like myself and those that are like this talking for themselves. I'm sorry. Not everybody has the same business model and we should stop pitching the same business strategies. 
that's problematic that is brushing everybody with the same color it's not accurate we all have different business models those are my thoughts on this diyers you let me know what you think DIYers. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.